Hey guys, I'm getting ready for my trip to Texas. I'll be flying out this Thursday and I cannot wait to bring you content there, but I have a few updates that I wanted to share with you. Number one, we know that Starship is delayed yet again. So the FAA has pushed back their review of Starship now until March 28th. If you've been following along this whole time, that review was supposed to be done December 31st, then it was pushed to February 28th. Now we are being pushed another month and the FAA is saying that it still needs time to review thousands of public comments submitted in response to the draft assessment. That was released in September. Um, and they are also needing to consult further with other agencies. So in case you didn't watch the SpaceX presentation last week, Elon didn't have a hard defined timeline. He did say that they had gotten sort of a rough indication that an FAA approval could be coming in March. So looks like maybe, maybe at the end of the month, but I'm a little bit uh, skeptical of that. Elon also stated that right now they're tracking to have the regulatory approval and hardware readiness around the same time. And an approval isn't guaranteed. The FAA could turn around and say that they want an environmental impact statement. That would be a much longer process, but there is a backup plan. If that ends up being the case, the first Starship orbital test flight will probably be from pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Cape Canaveral. Elon says that they're actually approved from an environmental standpoint to launch from 39A. So the worst case scenario is that they would be delayed for six to eight months to build up the Cape launch tower and they would launch from there. And we also learned that SpaceX will eventually launch Starship from multiple locations. We know that they've been modifying two deep sea oil rigs that will serve as launch towers for Starship. But we also learned that there is a plan to have multiple floating launch pads about 20 to 30 miles offshore eventually. And that is unfortunate news. However, I will say it makes me feel a little bit better about the timing of my trip. I had some people say you'd be kicking yourself if it were, you know, was to happen at the beginning of March. That's not going to happen now. However, on a brighter note, Elon Musk tweeted today saying that there are now over 250,000 Starlink user terminals. People are, of course, very excited about this. Check out this reply. Tesla in the gong says, I am one of them. Love it. Thanks for bringing this online. It's only getting better with every new satellite constellation launch. And then he asks, will upload latency get better when all the satellites become laser? Elon responded saying yes, but more ground stations and improved packet routing will make a bigger difference. Someone also asked when Starlink will be coming to Africa. Elon replied and said announcements are coming soon. Also unfortunate for me, at least they de-stacked Starship. I was crossing my fingers that maybe it would be stacked still by the time that I got there. Who knows? Maybe they'll restack it. You never know what's going on there. Um, but this is a really cool video of them de-stacking it. And I haven't really made an update about the Starship presentation. Presentation. I did a live stream with Dave Lee and we talked about it a little bit, but we just got some amazing animation out of that SpaceX presentation. Look at this Starship to Mars simulation. Elon tweeted it and he says, this will be real in our lifetime, which is like crazy. Like if you're not excited about this and your neighbors aren't excited about it, get excited. Billionaire Jared Isaacman announced that he has booked three space flights with SpaceX, including that first ever crewed Starship mission. So this is pretty exciting. Isaacman is a repeat customer. He booked and commanded Inspiration4. Of course, we know that was the first ever all private crewed mission to Earth orbit and they used a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket and Dragon capsule. Polaris program will undertake a series of tech demo Dragon missions culminating in the first flight of Starship. And I got to watch that <laughs> on the beach in Boca Chica, live streaming on my phone with Starbase behind me. So that was very memorable. The Polaris program is the first of its kind effort to rapidly advance human spaceflight capabilities while continuing to raise funds and awareness for important causes here on Earth. Polaris, a constellation of three stars, more commonly known as the North Star, has been a guiding light throughout human history to help navigate the world around us and the sky above. The program seeks to demonstrate important operational capabilities that will serve as building blocks to help further human exploration to the moon, Mars, and beyond. 
And so we're getting more details about three human spaceflight missions that they have planned. There is mission one, Polaris Dawn, that will be a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket that will launch the Polaris Dawn mission from the Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Dragon and the Polaris Dawn crew will spend up to five days in orbit flying higher than any Dragon mission to date and endeavoring to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown. The crew of Polaris Dawn will conduct a spacewalk, support scientific research that is designed to advance both human health on Earth and our understanding of human health during future long duration space flights and this is pretty cool. Be the first to test Starlink laser-based communications in space. I would like to test Starlink laser communications in space. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just volunteering as tribute. Mission two will be building upon Polaris Dawn. That mission will continue to expand the boundaries of future human spaceflight missions in space communications and scientific research. So they're more vague about that one. So mission three, will be on Starship. Okay, okay, and one, one last thing before I forget. By the way, this is just kind of like a quick recap. I realize that not all of you have Twitter, so my apologies that it's not super long form, but I know so many of you turn to me for updates about SpaceX related news. So this is an update. However, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm editing currently and I just know that not everyone's on Twitter. So this is me sharing some things that I saw on Twitter today and hopefully helping you or, you know, inspiring some discussion in the comments. That is your cue to comment. But really quickly, before we go, I do wanna talk about this ad that uh, played during the Super Bowl, as you can see. Sawyer Merritt tweeted saying that they paid $7 million to have this played during the Super Bowl. He says, it's a bold strategy to take digs at Elon Musk, VW, and the rest of Legacy Auto. And you know, Elon, I don't think he's too bothered by it. You know, that was his response. Uh, a crying emoji. Did you guys watch the Super Bowl? Probably. I will admit, I did not. I'm sorry. So of course it's a bummer that this is being delayed again. However, I want you guys to be excited because I'm really excited to bring you all of the content that I have planned for my trip. And I just wanted to give you guys a little update uh, before I head out of town because I still have to pack and to plan things and yeah. Uh, so anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. The channel is really growing pretty exponentially, which is very exciting. I'm actually coming up on the one year anniversary, what I would consider is the one year anniversary of Alien Space. So I'm planning on making a video about that too, because I'm so appreciative for all of your support. Thank you guys so much and I will see you soon. What is this? Oh God. And one of them love it. Thanks for being, thanks for being this online. What? They had a typo in their <laughs> Someone also asked when Starling could be in Africa and Elon says announcements are coming soon. So that's pretty exciting. And we're of course, because <laughs> this is incredible. And oh my God, I, I need a cameraman. <laughs> I need a cameraman and a teleprompter. You are getting very sleepy. <laughs>